Hey, how's it going? I'm up here in my test bed where it's spring now and the top inch or two is uh, the ground is thawed, the rest is frozen. I want to do a comparison of a video last year with this same detector and put it up against the soil when it is actually frozen and see if there's a difference in how these metal detectors behave. It isn't really to prove a lot. There ain't too many people that uh, I'll dig in frozen soil, but I suppose you could. So just curious is if they act different when the ground's like pretty much frozen versus dry summer, you know, soil. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I got this detector set up the exact same way as I did on my video last year and I'll render in each target as I go with last year versus this year. So let's go ahead and get started. First target, target is a quarter, four inches. Coming up a solid 89. Coming up a solid 90. Second target is a quarter at seven. Kind of policy, but in the very high 80s. Coming up about a 95. Third target is a quarter at 10 inches. Bouncing, but it is hitting the 80, 82. Between 85 to 90. Fourth target, a dime at four and a half inches. 86, 88, 90. Coming up at 85, 86, 87. Uh, dime at eight inches. High 80s. 85 to 90. Next one is a nickel at six. 55, a nickel at 8 inches, high and low, but it's, you can tell it's a nickel, no problem, copper penny at 2 inches, 85, 86, VDI is staying right at 85. Zinc penny at 2 inches. 82, 83. 82, once in a while it hits 83. And then a silver ring at 6 inches. 88. Hitting it both ways, no problem. And then a Morgan dollar at 11. Getting about an 80, 85. Coming up in the high 90s. And now a brass candle holder at 15. Not doing it. Trying to hit it one way, and it's coming up very high 90s where it should. Move down to the next row. Bottle cap at 4 inches. 57. Real choppy, all the way 30s to 57, so I know that's a bottle cap. It's telling me that's what it is. Real bouncy signal. A dime with four rusty nails four inches around it. Looking for that high tone. Hitting it one way. Is it ever trying? He 
even popping up into the 70s and 80s. 85, right where the dimes hit. A quarter, three inches deep with a big rusty nail beside it. Hitting it. Almost getting it here. Giving that high tone both ways. And this way, not quite. Two pull tabs, three inches apart. You can even tell there's two in there. Now can slaw two inches deep. Getting a 43 on up to a 60s. 50s and 60s. Quarter on end, four inches deep. 89. 87, easy, no problem, 10 cent piece, 4 inches deep with 2 rusty nails, it almost hit me, hitting that good, got an 82, 84, struggling a little but it is Coming up into the 80s once in a while. There's 84. It's telling you right away there's something there. Now we have a one cent piece, five cent, and then a ten cent, four inches deep, two inches apart. No problem with separation. That's as fast as I can swing it. Now a one cent piece and a ten cent piece with seven nails around it. There's the dime. There's the penny. Dime. Penny. It's pulling it out right away. Same thing. 82. Now a quarter, 12 inches deep. Won't do it. Wants to hit it, but it ain't going to do it. 22 bullet, two and a half inches deep. Probably high 50s. Ten set piece, four inches with five nails, two inches above it or around it. Nailed it right away. 82. And now a dime, 11 inches deep. Didn't do it. It's coming up one way and it's popping into the high 90s. We got some hot rocks with a quarter in the middle. Hot rocks and hot soil actually, salt and everything mixed in. There's the quarter. Hard to tell the difference. Right there's the quarter. And it's coming up exactly as a quarter. You'll get stray signals here with this. So anyways, 
We're going to go in and compare this results and put that video together and see how much different it is, if any at all. Well, there you go. Uh, if it's a worthwhile test or not, I don't know. I think it had more to do with the soil being very saturated and wet. And it's windy out, so I'm trying to block the wind so you could hear me. But one, the biggest one, where the tones were not as good on deeper targets. And it does seem to have better separation, though. And I, the original last year's was actually I added it wrong. It was 57 points. This one was 55. But the biggest thing was it could not hit the 11 inch deep dime in the frozen soil where it hit it one way on the dry soil and then nothing for the 12 inch deep and on the dry soil it does beep. So I can pretty much tell that you're losing, losing depth. But the separation seemed better and you could uh, kind of see that. And the bigger other one was a lot of the targets on the dry soil were more defined and uh, right there. And some of them did have a little bit higher uh, number on the VDI scale on a dry soil. So all in all, if you I would say just going with this test, if you want separation, go when it's when the ground saturated and dry depth. But, like I said, I don't know if it had anything to do with the ground being frozen. My guess it's more to do with the water in the soil. But anyways, I'll be uh, putting a ton more videos on on different tests. And I'll probably uh, further test this wet versus dry and like that. To see if there is a uh, actual big difference there. See how it goes. But that's what I got out of that. So, there you go.